As Dugway Proving Ground observes Women's Equality Day during the month of August, Dugway Proving Ground Public Affairs was given the opportunity to sit down with Captain Kristen Wolf, the F-35 Alpha Lightning Demonstration Team Commander out of Hill Air Force Base, who, over the past couple of months, has flown over DPG showcasing her skills to our community as a pilot of the most sophisticated combat aircraft in the world. Uh, I grew up a military brat, so from all over the place. My dad was also an Air Force pilot, so mostly the southeastern United States. Um, so I've been in the Air Force about nine years now. Um, three of that was pilot training and jet training. And then the next three years were F-22, um, flying at Langley Air Force Base, Virginia. And then I've been here um, at Hill Air Force Base for three years flying the F-35. I mean, it's gotta be my dad, probably easiest one, because I watched him get through his aviation career um, and watched him, you know, navigate he was a navigator, he was a pilot, and then uh, did some other uh, random jobs working ROTC. So kind of watching him do that and then starting my military career after he was done was pretty unique. Uh, and I always have that mentor to go back and ask questions of, hey, what would you do? Um, he helped guide me into the fighter pilot realm, well, into the Air Force in general, then fighter pilots, and ultimately the Raptor and the F-35. So he's been my kind of belly button, if you will, at each step of the way to ask, ask all the questions. Uh, not particularly as a young child. I kind of grew into it in my college age years, being interested in aviation. Um, but obviously I was around military bases and planes and pilots and squadrons uh, my entire upbringing. So very familiar with it, but it was kind of in the background and kind of uh, his job and uh, his you know, military life from there. And then I kind of grew into it myself and chose to follow my aviation career about halfway through college. Before you start pilot training, in the Air Force, you fly the DA-20, which is a two-seater prop plane out in Pueblo, Colorado. It's called initial flight screening. They take you all the way up to solo, so about 11, 12 rides in the plane, and then you actually go to your uh, your pilot training base. So uh, from there, I did a year of pilot training, flying the T-6 Texan II. Uh, again, a two-seater um, propeller plane, and then into the T-38, the jet trainer. Um, and that was all of those, about a year, year and a half of pilot training. Uh, it's pretty nerve wracking just having, you know, I didn't have any general aviation time really prior to that. I'd had about three hours uh, before joining the military just to kind of get used to being in a cockpit and flying a propeller aircraft. And, um, so I actually did three hours in the DA-20 before I started the military training. Um, but for them to take you from basically nothing all the way 10 rides in to soloing the plane, uh, it's pretty nerve wracking just because it's, you know, it's kind of like driving a car by yourself for the first time, but you've had your parent in the, in the seat the entire time for about a year prior, kind of watching you and guiding you. Um, this is about 10 flights, 15 hours of time, and they put you up in the aircraft uh, by yourself. So pretty nerve wracking, but the training takes over. I'd say honestly, from the outside pressure perspective, no real obstacles that were uh, apparent to me. Anything that was pressure-wise is probably internal to me, knowing that you're a minority in the field. Um, but you get pretty used to it because, you know, even through ROTC all the way up until pilot training and ever since I've been in my military career, there's probably one other female in the squadron with you, um, if any. So uh, you get used to it working in the male-dominated environment, but luckily um, we're treated pretty equally as far as it's a merit-based community. So if you can do your job well, then uh, they'll respect that and uh, you'll rise to the top as easy as anybody else. So through pilot training, I uh, was interested in a bunch of different planes. I didn't know if I wanted to go to the heavy route, the bomber route, the helos were all my interest for a while. Um, but ultimately, uh, flying fast, flying low, you know, did all the tactics was appealing. Um, and then if you have the opportunity and you, you know, are at the top of your class and you can be a fighter pilot, uh, that's kind of like the epitome, you know, the, the pinnacle, if you will, uh, the most challenging thing I could go pursue. So that's kind of the ultimate reason why I decided to be a fighter pilot.
it's um, very good training for us to get it to an off station location um, that's not just Hill Air Force Base and fly the exact same visual references, show lines, runway environment. Um, so for us to, one, get our maintainers on the road so they can do the narration, the music, get my safety observer pilot on the road to get him training that's not at Hill Air Force Base. Uh, and then ultimately for me to do a routine that looks nothing like Hill um, and to be able to put on a good show for you guys. That is uh, majority of it's training for us. Um, and honestly, most of it came about with COVID because we're not traveling. Um, so we can get kind of either complacent or just the training gets a little bit lax here at Hill just because we're doing the same thing twice a week. Um, but for us to be able to come out to Dugway and do that is uh, a very unique experience and uh, very useful for, for us to be able to do that. And it's just icing on the cake that you guys get to watch it. Uh, I give the same answer to everybody and it's um, study whatever you're going to do well at and whatever your passion is because that's going to yield the best grades, the highest GPA, uh, and you're going to enjoy what you're doing. Um, a lot of people think that you have to be an aerodynamics major or physics or chemist. That's not true. Uh, math and science helps uh, if you enjoy that. And that's kind of the realm I took with chemical engineering. But uh, you can honestly be any single major and be in the Air Force, be a fighter pilot. And we have people that are history majors, biology, chemists, physics, sociology, you name it.